All right, now we're going to look at taking this piece of art and transferring it over to Vector. Notice things about it. It's very simple. I didn't add a whole lot of detail here. Um, things like if you zoom in, it's pixelated. Okay. Very pixelated. So your drawing was able to be pixelated, and by being pixelated, it was easier to draw. And in the long run, it'll also make it easier to turn into vectors. So here's what I need as far as a product is concerned. I need a three color illustration. Okay, well I got three colors here. I got green, I got light green, and I got black. Those are my three colors. The gray is just there. It's a color, but it's just to separate the elements and to keep me from having too bright of a screen. If you have too bright of a screen, your your brain will start hurting because it's putting up with the gamma of the screen. So I'm going to export this as, and I'll export it as frog. And then I'll go over to Inkscape. And it doesn't matter the document size because after you turn it to vector, you can make it any size you want. So I'll import it. And I'll import the frog as a link because I'm moving in between two programs. And I can go back if I wanted to. And here it is. So if you go to path, you can say trace bitmap. And you can click on it and let's go to colors. And here's how it works. Let's say I have a scan of, I want three colors. Well, I'll put a scan of three because that makes sense, right? And I'll hit OK. And what I'll get is two colors because don't forget the gray is a, a color in itself. <laughs> so have the undo ready and then go scan a four. Highlight it, frog, update it. And now I have actually three colors so that this frog is actually four colors if you think about it because of the light green so here's my three color if I wanted it and now that I think about the design I'm gonna have to go to four color in order to get the the light green right but I kept it simple so now I can make that decision Oh, highlight it I trace it. And that's good. I like that. Now there are some elements in here that could be black. See them? Like there's this green, there's this dark green, and then there's this black. And how do I do that? Well, I like what I have. Uh, hit OK. and hit like that. There we go. So I have my item and you can see I got two frogs here really. I got the frog that is a vector and then I got this one. And why that is is because in the live in this trace options you saw if you really looked remove background. Let's go back to the original frog. And let's go back to trace. Let's go to maybe two scans. Okay, cool. Let's go to like brightness cutoff. And you can see here, you know, I have to kind of play around with these in order to get what I need. What I want to do is get the, all the black by itself. So I have to constantly dink around. Ooh, that's good. This is good. It looks bad, but it really is good. So let's close this out. I got this. 
And what I want to do is go path, break apart. And I want to delete the gray. Oops. Sometimes I can ungroup it to get the frog out of there. But I want that frog so bad. And it looks like it is traced. But let's find out if it really is. Let's go to View, Display Mode, and go to Outline. Sure enough, it is traced. And look at that. I can grab the frog and I can get rid of the, the, the background. Sometimes you can do things in other modes that are a little bit easier. And there's my black. So how would I make it easier to move? How about layers? And then I can say, well, here's a layer. Here's another layer. I can cut this and paste it here onto the other layer. I can move that into position. And I'll make that dark. Like this right now uh, has a fill, but the fill is kind of a gray. Now it's a real black. I like this. This is a good outline, and this has good color. So how about I break this one apart? Some of these can be so stubborn to break apart. So I use a combination of ungroup and voodoo and all that good stuff to get it done. So I like this color. And I'm using my arrow keys to move this around. And I like not that one. I like this green. So there's my three colors. And get rid of everything else. So that's how you use like two different two different live traces to actually get what you really want. And now we have to do one more thing in the next video. So let's move on to that.